my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here, and today I have for y'all another polymer clay tutorial. Today we're going to be making conkers from the video, the Nintendo video game, Bad Fur Day. This was a request on my YouTube channel, and I am going to put their name right here for y'all. And they wanted me to make conkers, the main character from the game. I have never personally played this game because it was really mature. And it came out, I believe, in the 90s or either the 80s. Either way, it was when I wasn't born or when I was way too young to be playing a mature video game. But, you know, some people did play it anyways. Not everybody knew it was a mature game. It'd probably be worth a try to try it nowadays. <laughs> I think I'm kind of mature nowadays. Anyways, I think he came out really, really good. I'm so happy with how he came out overall. Because I've never made any kind of character with a mouth like this. The muzzle is definitely the hardest part. But you'll see in the video how I kind of like shaped it a little bit. And pretty much when you get to that part, just kind of keep pinching it until you get the shape that you really need. These two little dots on top, just blend them in and just shape it to the shape you need. I'm saying that now because that was the hardest part of this whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned next week for a secret hush hush tutorial that I won't tell you yet. I will just put up on my channel secret tutorial coming. And it's based on a game, but I'm not going to say which one. But I'm sure you guys are going to like it. If you don't know about it yet, you will soon. And let's go ahead and get into this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you there. From left to right, the colors you will need is Turquoise Sculpey 3, Bake Shop Tan Color, which is from Walmart, Sculpey 3 Orange, Sculpey 3 Tan, White, and also Sculpey 3 Yellow, which I forgot to put in the beginning. First, we're going to start with the orange, and I pre-rolled all the balls that I'd need. And we're going to start with this largest one right here, which I'm going to roll into a 2-inch long teardrop shape. Once I got the shape the way I wanted it to be, I picked it up and pressed, the, pressed it gently against the work surface so it'd be flat on the bottom, but still, you know, pointy on the top, obviously. Then I tilted it back over and cut the excess part off that I did not need. Just use this photo for reference. It's about a half an inch that I kept on it. The rest you can just put back into the pack. Next we're going to make his thigh slash upper legs. We're going to use these two balls right here. I rolled them into about an inch long teardrop shape. And then I cut off the top set bias and the bottoms flat, just like so. Just angle the blade up towards the left and then one up towards the right. Very easy. Then I went on ahead and stuck the pieces that were angled onto the body. Sorry some of these pictures will be blurry. My phone doesn't like me. Next, we're going on to this ball right here, and this is going to be his tail. And you're going to roll it out to make it a teardrop shape, and then roll the top part out so it's also pointy. So, i.e. pointy on both ends. It's two inches long. Then I cut off about an inch in excess on the size. And then for stability, I bent a metal wire and stuck it into the tail, making it match the shape of the tail. And then I stuck this into his torso. You can use glue to make sure it stays secure. Voila, and also make sure you blend it on the back of his body so it'll stay in better. Next, we're going to make his head. So, we're going to use this ball up here, and I'm going to use the same basic shape I use for all the heads for most of my sculptures. I can't think of one off the top of my head that I don't use this shape for. First, I roll it into an egg shape, then I put it in the palm of my hand, and using the index finger of the opposite hand, press in so it'll stay round on the back, which will have this indentation on the top of the front. And this is what it looks like from the side. Now we're going to go on to these little balls at the top. These will be his ears. Roll these into about half inch long te chubby teardrop shapes. Then use your little dotting tool and poke two holes for the ears. Then we're going to cut off that excess down there. Kind of cut it at an angle a little bit so it'll go on the head a little easier. And voila, these are the ears. Now you just take it and stick it onto the head. Kind of make them point down just slightly because his ears aren't just straight up like Mickey Mouse. They're kind of angled downwards. Next, I got two acrylic beads and went on ahead and stuck them on where I need the eyes to be at. And now I'm going to make his eyelids out of two teeny tiny balls of clay. They are very, very small, as small as you can make them. Just pinch them in the little teardrop shapes and just put them on his face. And voila! Eyelids, but don't stick them on too hard because it'll be easier to take them off once you're baking. But you'll see what I mean later. Just very gently put them on there. Next, we're moving on to the Turquoise Sculpey 3. We're going to pre-roll all the balls we will need. Again, sorry for the blurry photo. 
similar to the lower torso, we're going to do this for the upper torso. Roll it into a 2 inch long teardrop shape or about that size. Then, different from the last one, using the palm of your hand, press it down very gently so it will be flat on the back but still round on the top. And then cut the top and the bottom off and make it nice and flat. These are a lot of blurry photos in a row and I'm very sorry. Next, we're going to go ahead and stick it on the body and use a toothpick for stability. If the toothpick's a little bit too big, cut off the excess with some wire cutters. It's really no problem at all. Then stick the head on the rest of the toothpick that's hanging out. Isn't he adorable so far? <laughs> Next, using the other two blue balls, you're going to roll them into about inch and a half long teardrop shapes. And cut the bottoms and the tops off. The tops at an angle, the bottoms flat across. And these are his arms, so using the angle pieces near the top, just stick it on the body. And pose the arms however you feel like. You can even make a cup so he can hold a cup too, like in the very beginning of the game, but it's up to you. Next, we're going to go on to his shoes. So you're going to take inch, inch long and in diameter balls and roll them into inch long teardrop shapes. Then take them and bend them in half with your fingers, like so. Once you've done that, you're going to cut off the top part so it's not too much excess and it's nice and flat. Voila! And then you're also going to cut off the bottom parts, the rounded little toe tips of the shoes, just like this, because we need to make that yellow, which is where I forgot the yellow <laughs> at the beginning. Then you just stick it on the body. You can use a little bit of glue for stability. I would recommend doing that now. And then we're going to move on to that yellow color that I forgot about. And it's just literally going to be for the tips of the shoes. So you're going to take two balls. They're about a half an inch in diameter. And you're going to roll them into inch long teardrop shapes. Like a so. Bam. <laughs> and then after you do that, just take it and kind of press it down gently with your index finger. And then just cut off the excess. Just make sure you have it thick enough so it'll line up with the shoe width. And the little pointy pieces just put back in your pack. There we go. Like I said, make sure it lines up in size pretty well. Next, we're going on to the Walmart Bake Shop tan color. I used two different colored tans for the shoes and the face because I wanted better contrast. You can use the same color tan. I just did this for a little different contrast in color. You're going to need three balls. And for the mouthpiece, like I said at the beginning, just keep rolling it until you get the shape you need between your fingers. This will take a lot of time. And the ball itself was maybe an inch in diameter, so it's pretty small. But just keep rolling it and pinching it. Then once you get the way you need it to, put it on the face. Then these other two balls are going to be his little chubby cheeky things or his little mouth. Stick them on the face. And you're going to blend it into the top part of the mouth and into each other. And uh, once you get done with that, it should look something like this. Be very patient with this part. This was the longest part of the whole video, so be patient. Next we're going on to the white, which all we're making is a couple little things. His hands and his teeth. So you need three tiny balls. <sighs> These blurry photos are getting me today. I don't know what was up with my phone. They don't always look blurry on my phone. Then we're going to roll out some teardrop shapes for the first one. These are going to be the hands. Press them down gently so they'll still stay kind of round on top but flat on the bottom. Then get your handy dandy X-Acto blade. And you're just going to cut off the top part so they'll be flat to go on his arms. And then use that same blade to indent little fingies. Little fingers. Yes, three fingers is not accurate to the character, but it's accurate to me not giving a, a darn. To me not giving a darn. <coughs> Excuse me, potty talk, right? Then we're going to use the little itty bitty ball, which I just doubled up on that picture by accident. Oopsie, I thought I took all the duplicates out, but we're leaving it in now. We're going to roll with this. And you're going to roll it into a very small teardrop shape and then press it down gently with your finger, like we've done with many other things. Then we're going to cut the little pointed tip off with your X-Acto blade, like so. And then use your X-Acto blade to indent it in the middle so it makes it look more like teeth. And then just stick it into the little excess part that hangs over the mouthpiece. It should fit in just perfectly. Now we're going to go on to the Sculpey tan color with more blurry photos. <sighs> These are just going to be the bottom of the shoes. So you only need two teeny tiny balls. And it's really hard to tell in this photo, but the tan colors were slightly different. That's why I like it. And then all I did was just literally press them against the shoe until it fit the way I wanted it to. Just shaped it out and smudged it and smeared it. Then I took my long blade and indented little indentions on the shoe. And now we're going on to the black, 
which you need one tiny ball and just pinch it between your fingers to make a triangle shape. It's very easy to do, just use both your thumb and both your index fingers. Then I took some rubbing alcohol to clean off him because he's mighty dirty right now. And once I got done, he looked all sparkly clean. And then we're about to get ready to bake, so you need to take his eyelids off very carefully. And his eyes off very carefully. And now we can bake according to my directions right here for you. While he's baking, go ahead and get some blue color paint or whatever color paint you like and paint a wooden base. Or don't, just have him sitting as is. And once I did, it looked like this, but less blurry. Then once he's done baking and cooled off, you're going to get some kind of strong super glue or Loctite glue like I use. And glue on his eyes first before the eyelids, like this. And then you're going to glue the eyelids right on top. Make sure you angle them just so a little bit so he looks angry just like before. Voila, perfect. And then I'm going to use E6000 to glue his little bottom down to his blue base. Again, feel free to do whatever color you like. I just felt like if I did orange, it'd be too much. After that, I'm going to take white and yellow acrylic paint, and we're going to paint on his fur details. Starting with the white, get some kind of small brush, and just paint a circular, a semicircle shape on his stomach, and the white on his tail. Then once that's completely dry, be patient, we're going to get the yellow paint. <coughs> and don't worry if you get paint on other parts of the body, you can just take that out with rubbing alcohol. And then we took the yellow paint on and painted over some details using a reference photo. After that was completely dry, I used polycrylic poly floor varnish to glaze them with two coats. And then you're all done! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And stay tuned for next week's secret tutorial. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye, my bunnies!